Harold Harrison was a visionary and pioneer in the poultry industry of North Georgia. Today, Harrison Poultry and Golden Goodness products are sold across the United States and in several foreign countries. He became interested in chickens while teaching in the Veterans Farm Training Program after World War II and converted a small tenant house on his father's farm into a broiler house and raised 2,000 broilers. That first batch of chickens earned him $400 and allowed him to expand production until in 1951 he gave up his teaching job and turned his full attention to the business. By 1966, Mr. Harrison's business included a fully automated push-button feed mill and a new hatchery operation with the latest climate control and sanitary equipment. Today, Harrison Poultry employs 600 people and processes 800,000 broilers each week. While Harold Harrison was respected as a businessman, he was loved for his community service. He was a member of the Barrow County Board of Education for 24 years, serving as chairman for 12 years, and served as chairman for the Winder Barrow Hospital Authority and Bank of Barrow. He was also elected Georgia State Senator, serving Gwinnett, Barrow, Jackson, and Banks counties. One of his last and most memorable gifts of service was the building of a new church for the people of the Bethlehem United Methodist Church. He acquired the land and funded the entire project. One friend has written, My greatest appreciation for Mr. Harrison is for his contributions to support his ag community in Barrow and surrounding counties and his fellow man. Well, Harold Harrison's effect on Barrett County, on the state of Georgia, is very significant in the area of agriculture. Uh, like people of his generation who started the poultry businesses around the country, Harold is one of those entrepreneurs who started with nothing and built it into something and has had a tremendous effect the economy of this area and people's lives and producing things that um, have become a benefit to the community. I think it was important to him to have his business develop in the way that he wanted it to, to acknowledge the things along the way and to, uh, not from an issue of power, but from an issue of values and the way business would be done that it coincided with his own personal beliefs and that that was the of extreme interest to him. Some people aren't as committed as Harold Harrison and you knew that his commitment he was going to be there and what that provided in terms of uh, the the mood of the mood and culture of the operation was that Mr. Harrison was not going to go chasing the latest fad, but provided a consistency that you could count on. Mr. Harrison understood the value of contributing time. Many people in his position will contribute money in the community. He separated himself by willing to also invest time, his own personal time, into the well-being of the community.